Welcome back to Podcast Geek, episode 50. Who the hell is this? <laughs> Who is this person? This is Aaron from the Media Brothers Podcast. Welcome back. Welcome, What's welcome. Going? What's going on, man? Um, not much, not much. Uh, had a crazy weekend. It was a pretty good time. Went out, went out to eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Yeah. Well, but, so what kind of places is there, is there at the, out to eat up there? Um, well, on Friday, I went with my, uh, my parents and my sister. We went to the manor, which is like American food. Um, oh. just good stuff. <laughs> well, the place is really cool looking. It's, um, it's like being in your living room. Nice. Uh, yeah. It's kind of weird. So that was good. <laughs> I had, uh, I had lamb kebabs. They were really good. And uh, everybody else had just uh, steak and stuff like that. Yeah. And then yes. Let me, let me ask you how yeah. how fucking cold is it up there? It's uh, well, actually, right now it is. I think it's like forty seven degrees or something. Shit, like that. that's summertime. It is. It's like summertime <laughs> up here. What is it? It's uh, it's forty two now. It was forty seven earlier. It was cold as shit down here last week. Yeah, I heard on your podcast that it was uh, really cold. And then, then, then the following couple of days, we actually had snow in Louisiana, which was nuts. Ugh. You know. That's crazy, especially for you guys. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've seen it probably twice in my lifetime. I'm 37, so. Oh, my God. So what was the weather like last year? We never even get below freezing down here, usually. That's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. So where the hell were you guys last week? Uh, we got, we got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, Andrew's doing a conversion at his work and, oh. you know, he's, he's, we got a lot of family stuff going on too. So oh, okay. we're going to try to be back tomorrow. We, we tried to do our shows on Mondays, but yep. lately we've been kind of hit or miss, but we're, we're trying to get back on track. I look forward to it every week. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're pretty, uh, we're pretty goofy. Yep. So, uh, tell, so tell my, uh, listeners and viewers about your podcast. Uh, you know, it's basically a nerd show. Um, we do it get a little sports in there too. You know, know you don't like that, but uh, that's fine. <laughs> no, we do a bunch of nerd stuff. We talk about movies, uh, anything nerdy, computers, bitcoins, big topic lately, drones, stuff like that. We just goof around. We're uh, we kind of have the same personality, but we do kind of get into arguments sometimes, so it makes it kind of funny. Yeah, it is pretty funny. <laughs> the last one was especially funny because you were a little tipsy, which is funny. <laughs> I did. I had a uh, I had a couple drinks before the show. It was the first time ever, and it, I was a little bit looser, a little bit more loose, you know. Yeah, so, it's easier when you had good. a couple. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> um, so, have you guys played that game Flappy Bird? It just came out. Oh my god! My daughter, she's she's fourteen, so it's so she obnoxious. Come, she come, she comes home and says, do you want to play a game that's going to aggravate the crap out of you because you suck at it? I was like, um, yeah, let me give it a shot. And, you know, I, I, I think I got to six, oh, through, it, through six little pipes or whatever. It's so like, awful. Let, let's just show the viewers what it's like. It's, uh, okay. it's pretty right. terrible. So, let's see if I can actually see it on my screen. I can see it. Oh, I already died. Because <laughs> I can't <laughs> see it that well. It's so stupid. It's so stupid because they don't give you more than one life. Right. You like you have to like flap, you have to like flap your wings up and down. Trust me, I think most people. If you've heard about, it, I've heard it's about so it, awful. It, then one week, it's probably taking the world by storm right now. Yep. Flappy bird. It's like people like, oh man, I got I got through six times. I was like, if you if you look at the high scores on it, they're like it's like nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. That's that has got to be wrong, right? Are you kidding me? No. Wow. I high, saw forty seven today. I was like, that person's lying. That's a Photoshop thing. Well, I mean, even people from my work have been, like, I guess their kids have been on it, too. So yeah. they, they kind of playing with it a little bit. Yeah. And the guy was like, I got 18. And my, my buddy, he's got 19. And we're competing. I'm like, God, crazy. It is. It's like a cr- crack cracked out bird on a Mario, uh, Super Mario Brothers. And it's so level. easy to play, too. You just tap the screen to make the guy fly up and down. I just wish they gave you, like, three lives before it said game over. Right? You know? That's why I want to throw my phone through the uh, through my he window. He dips too much. I think that's what the problem is. He dips too much. If you don't like hit the thing, it goes woo, and you're like, Psh. right. If you hit two times, he jumps too high. And right. You, you gotta wait till he gets right before he gets to the pipe and then tap it. That's right? I figured it out. But yeah, that's the trick to it. It's a pain Whatever. in the ass, though. <laughs> Thanks, sucks. Um, so, did you hear that uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman died today? I did. That's crazy. I did. I mean, it's my favorite character in Twister. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> My my daughter came to me and said the Hunger Games guy died. The Hunger, I said that's a guy from Twister. That's, that's not the a Hunger guy from Games Twister. 
But yes, he, was uh, uh, essential I mean, he was an essential character in Hunger Games. I don't know how yeah. the hell they're going to do it for the next one. No telling. Yeah. There's no telling. I mean, I'm sure they'll write him out somehow. Yep. You That's know, crazy. It's, it's the way they do in movies. It, it, uh, unfortunately, a lot of uh, actors have died lately. You know, they had to replace them. Like, look at Paul Walker. That's you true. Know, they, filmed, they filmed all of Fast and Furious 7, and it said they were going back to do shoot retakes, and he died in the middle of it. So, Ugh. There, I just I was reading an article the other day saying that it's it's probably it's pretty detrimental to the movie because the retakes they had to shoot were a must. Oh. So I don't know I don't know what they're going to do. Apparently he has a brother or something that's an actor. Oh really? Know. Yeah, that's what I heard. Oh, I, I don't know that. It's crazy stuff. Yeah, that's crazy stuff. And I really liked uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman as an actor. He's a really good actor. Oh, absolutely. I mean, what's? I mean, it has to be drugs, probably, or something. I mean, he's, yeah, it was oh, drugs, he was and he fell off. He didn't he fall off a boat? I think he fell off a boat and drowned or something. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> That's crazy. I just saw it pop across my screen on a uh, CNN saying saying that he died. So I didn't see the details behind it, but falling off a boat is probably tipsy, you know. Ugh. Uh, alcohol and boats don't mix usually. Yep. And if he was taking any other kind of drug, that definitely doesn't help either. Have you seen that show Helix yet? I watched the first episode. I kind of liked it. I just didn't um, watch any more episodes. Was it? Is it good? It's getting even better. Yeah, it's getting better as it goes. It's a good movie. It's a good show. It's not Definitely. really like zombie zombies, right? It's just like a virus. <laughs> it's like a virus, but yeah. man, it, it keeps getting more and more like a zombie type thing. So it's, I don't know. There's too many zombie things. <laughs> there is. Yeah, I see my shirt, right? The Walking Dead. You see That's it, right? awesome. No, yeah. I haven't watched it this season. I was kind of sick of it last season because it's like it's good and then it's bad yeah. and then it's good and then it's bad. Yeah, I think uh, I, I think it's well. If that's the case, it's on a good trend. Oh, okay. Well, that's February ninth. <laughs> that's really good because the last two years it's been like the first couple episodes are really good, and then it fell off like ten yeah. episodes. And well, I think they're getting out of the jail now, getting out of that prison. So that's that's what we want to see, right? Yeah, move on. That, that prison gets old after a while. Seriously, that's like when they were at the house for so long. You're right. like. <laughs> are you done yet <laughs> one of the zombie cows is going to start eating you get the hell out of there <laughs> the <animal>. zombie cows <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> um so what's your brother doing today he's actually at work oh he's Shepard's at work conversion. yeah it's Good like i said he's stuff. he's been swamped he, he he runs a it uh for like four four different stores yeah and he's like the only IT guy for these four stores. Jeez. And they did a complete changeover with, you know, terminals and cash registers. And he did it all. So oh. by himself. And he got it all hooked up. And then the Microsoft portion was messed up. So Microsoft had to send somebody in to fix it. It's just been a mess. Are you really that surprised that there's something wrong with the Microsoft stuff? <laughs> <laughs> nah, not at all. I counted on it, actually. Garbage. So, um, <laughs> so Andy was telling me that. They're coming out, well, it's a rumor, that they're coming out with a new Xbox One, and it's going to have no um, disk drive. It's going to have just a hard drive in it. It's going to have no optical drive. I, I didn't hear that. And but it's going to have a terabyte hard drive in it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't realize that, but that's the way gaming's going. The game is going to all streaming. And, uh, you know, if you listen to our show, we're talking about the uh, PlayStation, whatever it is. Now? Where they're, yeah, PlayStation Now, where they're yeah. going to start streaming games and stuff. And that's the future of gaming. And it's the future of, of you know, see, who buys DVDs anymore? Right. Right. Everything you know, you is like you can buy it. everything on instant media. So if you can do that with games, why would you go buy a CD? It's going to kill stores like GameStop and stuff yeah. like that there. I mean, they're done. Yeah. You know, unless unless people who don't have computers or don't have internet service can bring their PlayStations there and, like, download content. I mean, I just don't see a way for them to survive there. It's just it's, it's to get done. It's and this is just the beginning, you know. I mean, when Microsoft first came out with their new Xbox One, they were saying, you know, we only gonna, they're going to go more towards the online game, uh, streaming games. And people were like, oh, yeah, I want to trade my games and all this stuff. But, you know, it's just a, it's just the future. It it's just future. coming. It's easier. It's cheaper. They don't have to actually print discs. You know, it's all around it's going to be it's better for everybody in the long run, I think. But right. you won't be able to trade your games in. I mean, that's the, that's the that's negative true. part about it. But everything will run so much cleaner and better because everything's processed on the cloud. Well, we need we need faster internet in the United States. That's oh, definitely, thing. definitely. So I was I was reading somewhere where I think uh some town in Utah or somewhere has got that new Google that new Google fast internet thing. It's like a hundred times faster than our internet. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the report on our next show, but 
apparently there Google has this internet service where some kind of elite fiber optic and this whole town, ta- these three towns in the United States have gotten it. And it's like super speed internet. It's a hundred times faster. And when the guy was reviewing it, he was saying, well, you know, we really noticed the difference between the two. And, uh, he said, it's, it's amazing. There's no, like when he hit Google maps, he like zoomed in on his town and it instantly zooms in on your town. Wow. You know, there's no like, loading or anything he said it really is a noticeable difference That's and i think internet speeds are fast now but they're not really you know no. in the long run they are fast but it's like even the upload speeds like if you have cable the upload speed is only like five megabits per second which is equivalent to i, know. I think the actual speed is like 400k a second which is nothing it's like that's equivalent to a snail. Is what that's that is. Ex- yeah, exactly. <laughs> Might as well just get your 56k modem out and just do 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 do. Well, compared do, do, to the do, world, the US is like one of the slowest internet countries in the world. So. Right. Yeah, because I heard in the UK they already have gigabit in- uh, <sighs> internet, which is really it's nice. coming. It's coming. It's, it's too expensive too. I mean, yeah, I feel like seventy dollars for my internet connection. That's yeah, ridiculous. we do too. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you know. Then you I want it free. Give it to that. me free somehow. That's. What, I'm going to try to steal it off my neighbor, I think. You know? Exactly. Get his password somehow. <laughs> Bribe his kids, say, what's the password? And Ask just your brother it to hack it. <laughs> he probably could. He probably could. <laughs> oh, God. Um, you, looking for, you looking forward to any movies this year? Uh, not really. Yeah, it's kind of a... Like, what about you? I don't know. Um... You know, Superman and Batman got pushed off. Yeah, 2015 or 16, 15, 15, yeah. I think. Yeah. And I don't know. It, it doesn't really surprise me. Nothing really uh, got me interested yet. You know, it's yeah. coming. I'm sure. Yeah. But I really haven't. I really haven't looked at too much coming out. I kind of just kind of glanced through it the other day. Yeah. And I see a lot of titles. I don't really know what they are, but I can guarantee if I watch some of the previews, I'd be like, I'm looking forward to that. Oh but, no, I am. I'm looking forward to Interstellar with um, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, he's he is Nolan. he's been in a lot of stuff lately. Yeah, the Christopher. You see the Wolf on Wall Street. I haven't seen it. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Was it good? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Oh, cool. It's basically a, a, a soft porn fight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a part where Leonardo DiCaprio is blowing cocaine up a hooker's ass. Oh yeah. my god, that's awesome. <laughs> Leon, but Leonardo DiCaprio did it. Man, it's probably his best job since Titanic. I think. You know? Really. Yeah, he did a really good acting job, man. It's amazing. Nice. He's amazing. I'll yeah. have to check that one out. Yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy. Um, this is crazy show that I've been watching. I don't know if you watched my last uh, show was uh, Black Mirror. It's in the UK. I, I did. I did. Hear, I did watch it last year. I did hear you talk about it, and yeah. I looked it up instantly after you said it to see yeah. what it was about. It's freaking crazy. Is it? It's crazy. I'll send you the <laughs> link for the. Uh, the website that you can go to to watch it. It's really yeah, yeah. Send, awesome. it, send that to me for sure. It's, for sure. It's awesome. Yeah, um, I like. I love. I'm a TV fanatic. I love TV shows. And yeah. I love movies. And Andrew's more of the game guy. I, I do play games. Yeah. When I have a chance, but I'm an adult, so it's hard for me to hard for me to find time to play games. Right. I've been married 17 years, so my yeah. wife doesn't like the game thing too much. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I don't play. Yeah. I don't play games as often as I talk about them. <laughs> yeah. I, I, same here. Same, yeah, same here. But I do watch TV and movies a lot. So. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you got a big Super Bowl today. Are you gonna watch that? Do you know me at all? <laughs> <laughs> it's still, I know, but people who don't like football. No, actually last like year for the, for the commercials, you know. Last year, uh, Andy's uh, brother had a fo- uh, Super Bowl party, and I did go to it and I watched it. Right, it was all right. But the yeah. uh, commercials are definitely worth watching. Did yeah, you I mean that's that's man, yeah. Bruno Mars at halftime. Yeah. I don't know if you like him or not. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be a good halftime guy the best one so far in a long time I mean, oh we had i'm sure kids. definitely <laughs> i think they should have had like the grammy winners do like the the super bowl but i guess you have to uh set that up way ahead of time right you gotta book it yeah i think they booked this like last year at this time almost like that would have been awesome if daft punk did it because they had the uh album of the year man how how cool is that right Ugh, they're awesome it's about time i, I actually agreed with them for once yeah <laughs> yeah I hate, I hate award shows. They're always, especially the, I mean, I, like, if you listen to some of our previous shows, we talk about it, but I love, like, the MTV mu- Movie Awards and MTV Music Awards. I don't like these, the Emmys and the Grammys. Yeah, either. the mainstream ones, yeah, they're yeah. stupid. The Movie Awards for uh, MTV are hilarious, because they always have those, like, comedic uh, little clips in between. And they always got somebody doing something crazy on that motherfucker. Yep, yep. <laughs> Miley Cyrus was on the Music Awards this year. She went, this is when she decided to change her career, right? 
Yep, she's crazy. Yeah, she is. Do you remember the year that uh, Will Ferrell was on the uh, the MTV Movie Awards? Uh, He's like, pay your damn pants! Pay yeah, your damn I kinda, pants! I kind of... You know, I have a funny story about him. We, we do a uh, Mardi Gras down here, and then uh, we did the um, – I go to the Mardi Gras ball for uh, Bacchus, Bacchus Parade. It's one of the biggest Mardi Gras parades in New Orleans. Oh, cool. And everybody's suit and ties and, uh, you know, long dresses. And we're in the convention center, and the floats actually come into the convention center park, and everybody gets off, and it's a big fucking party. That's well, awesome. Will Ferrell was the uh, – he was the the king of the parade. Oh. So he after he gets off, usually the king goes in the back and comes out and says some stuff, and you never really see him again for the rest of the night. Yeah. Um. But Will Ferrell, he just he got up with the band. He he's you know we need more cowbell, and he started hitting the cowbell. And started <laughs> oh singing. man! And then he went out. Then he went out in the audience and started dancing with everybody. I mean, he was the best Mardi Gras king ever. That's awesome. That was hilarious on Saturday Night Live when he did the cowbell thing. Yeah. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. And then coming up fun. to, uh, Christopher Walken was the, uh, the guy that was in it, right, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Guess what? I got a fever. <laughs> the only prescription is more cowbell. More cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's hilarious. Yeah, see, I don't really celebrate Mardi Gras too much up there or anything like that, huh? It's more of a down south thing. I yeah, think. It's, it's definitely you have to go there to celebrate it. Have you ever been to no, New Orleans? No, I've never been. <laughs> I want to go so bad. Look, if you ever want to come down, uh, you stay here. And yeah, that'd check be out. Awesome. Mardi Gras is a party, man. We're, we're, we live in Denham Springs, which is right outside of Baton Rouge. Yeah. It's about an hour to New Orleans, tops. Cool. So, you always got a place down here if you want to come stay. Nice. That'd be yeah. awesome. Yeah, we would definitely take you up on that offer. That'd be a really fun vacation. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my god. Mardi Gras is a blast. If anybody had out there hadn't seen it, it's it's like a the biggest party you can imagine times ten. Right. You know, it's just. I mean, there's. <laughs> we get on balcony sometimes, mm -hmm. and we get balcony tickets for these tickets. You can go up on a balcony on Bourbon Street, and it's just there's so many people that can't, people can't walk, and they're all just like swaying, and the whole crowd is like just swaying at the same time. <laughs> It's a street to street packed full, and then you see these cops coming with these horses down the middle of it, trying to break people up, and that's crazy. You see a bunch of titties, and you see a bunch of crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you see a bunch of crazy shit down there for that's sure. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, so I got a couple things that I gotta just uh, put out to people. So we're doing yeah. a Netflix contest. I'm finally doing the questions because I figured out what I was gonna use for the questions. So, uh, what is the original name of our studio? Um, and what does it stand for? Uh, the original name you can find out in the original version of Podcastique, so you have to go into the link below, and it's the uh, Vimeo archive link, so you can see like Podcastique 1.0, Podcastique 2.0, Vidcastique 1.0, and 2.0, um, and you'll be able to figure out what our uh, studio name was back then. And then what is the name of the software we currently use to edit and post video? And I've said that on uh, quite a few shows in this recent rendition of Podcastic. Um, Nicole Graceffa made a sign for us, and I'm going to show that below. You'll be able to see it right now. I'm going to show you the picture of it. It's a. Uh, it kind of looks like one of those beach signs. It says Podcastic on it. It's got a gray background with a really cool font, and it's white for the font. And then it's got a little uh, purple heart after it. I'll show you guys the actual finished product afterward um, when I get it this week coming up. So that's that. And uh, I will be announcing the winner of the Netflix contest on... Let's see, what day should I pick? I'll do it on the 23rd of February. And let's see, got a lot of comments on Twitter. Thanks, everybody, for that. Um, got some comments on the YouTube. Thanks, everybody, for that as well. Uh, I want to give a special thank you to Demi Thompson, Nolene McDonald, Tom from Conics Lounge, Adam DeQuayton, Amita Brothers Podcast for mentioning us multiple times, <laughs> uh, Chickadee Yanya, Weddington Adventures, Alamdara Hossein, What's Your Tag, Gab Frab, James Radcliffe, Leslie Carter, Kenny Cable, Mathra, and AJ. Um, that's about it for this week's episode. Thanks, Aaron, for uh, joining us. No problem. Or me, I should say. <laughs> <laughs>
you can you also you can find our podcast on iTunes or Stitcher Radio, or you can go to obersty.com. That's O B E R S T E dot com. Yep. Uh, link will be in the description. Follow us on Instagram, the Media Brothers, or Twitter, TMB underscore podcast. Yep. And uh, become fans, you know. Let's, yeah, let's, let's you guys have to check them out. They're a fantastic uh, podcast. It's pretty much. One of the only podcasts I listen to because it's just something great to listen to in the car. Um, it's much know. better with me and Andrew. I'm kind of laying by myself. Just well, I don't know. You're pretty awesome, <laughs> I think. Pretty awesome. Um, and I thank you guys for always uh, promoting us. It's great. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Anytime, man. All right. So keep in touch with yourself. <laughs> Bye. No, you're supposed to say. Uh, I can't remember. Come and on. Touch your pussy. <laughs> we'll say that one more time. What is and it again? touch your pussy. And touch your pussy. This podcast is a part of the Rainbow Pod Squad Network, delivering big, gay, fabulous, fierce podcasts from our lips to your ears worldwide on the Rainbow Pod Squad Delivery Network. RainbowPodSquad.net.